we just harvested some purple hyacinth beans and in this video I'm going to show you how to cook them. So one of the things that you have to do uh, to use purple hyacinth beans is that you have to string them. So you take a bean and you see how it is uh, bent in this direction. So you uh, break it and then string it on the other direction and if it had string like this way it there, there was a string it will come out if no if it is too young then there will be no string so just pick this and string see here such a long string because you know it uh, when you eat it it will come in your mouth it's not that easily chewable so it doesn't feel good so you should always string them and that is true for all the beans the younger they are less stringing they need and of course I washed these beans um, good thing is that I don't use any pesticides or anything so we are safe on that front Sometimes you have to worry about things like aphids because they are there on the vegetables and uh, you know if you don't wash them properly then they may still be there in the vegetable soap. Alright so we have removed the strings and now we have to chop them so you can chop them any which way you want uh, I mean the traditional way is that you just stack a few of these and just cut them thin pieces like this you know, but I normally I'll just stack them like this roughly and just slice them and if I see some big pieces left towards the end I'll pick them and cut them again so it depends you know you want all of them to look uh, similar then you want to properly stack them and then chop them if you didn't don't care then or if you don't have that much time then you do what I did here okay I see that most of the pieces are cut so we are ready to cook them so my cast iron pan is uh, heating up so I'll put about one teaspoon of oil you can use any oil I use refined oil I'll just turn it off because uh, it's uh, really hot right now so here is my spice box in which you know I have all my spices, cumin seeds, um, coriander seeds powder, red chili powder, uh, dried mango powder, turmeric, garam masala and salt. So well, the rule is that you start with the uh, whole spices because they need to be in the oil. So half teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and this spice box is really handy because all the spices are right in front of you so you know you can see that the cumin seeds are sizzling so they'll puff up and then you add say one fourth teaspoon of turmeric depending on how much red chili you eat this is one eighth teaspoon and coriander powder you know one teaspoon and just mix them up because you know these spices have to kind of uh, be cooked and then you just add your chopped beans and I'm going to put about a little bit more than one fourth of teaspoon uh, salt and up to you you know depending on how much salt you eat and just mix it so you know all these these are Indian spices 
and these are all really good for you turmeric you know is uh, anti-inflammatory and you know um, cumin seeds they are really good for your stomach coriander really good now turn the heat to low all these spices have been incorporated in the cooking because they are really good for you so and you will notice that you know slowly this color it starts to change it will become dull and then it will be almost like green or gray and that's fine so i'm going to just add a little bit of water in it so that the spices don't burn and i'm going to just cover it so that you know they cook uh, in their steam and it the heat is like really low it will get cooked very very quickly and normally you can add potatoes in it or peas in it but i didn't add anything here because it is coming fresh from the garden you know just the beans themselves they are so fragrant and they are so tasty and so tender that i don't want to mix it up uh, with anything else so once in a while just take off the lid and uh, cook them see now they have almost turned green so it takes about 10 15 minutes but the thing is that you should check it every two three minutes just to make sure that you know it's not too dry because then it will start to burn and it will stick uh, to the pan so the best is that while you are making this you keep doing some other thing in the kitchen and that way you can keep an eye on it and uh, just uh, i use cast iron because you know you know some traces go in your food so it is good for you so this is my way of getting iron slowly with every meal okay now you can see that you know it's kind of drying up and kind of sticking a little bit but also it looks pretty soft to me so i'll just pick up one piece and see yeah it's pretty soft so you may want to taste it and uh, so i'm going to turn it off and then in the end you want to put you know one fourth teaspoon garam masala which is like all the fragrant spices mixed up and then ground like cloves cinnamon uh, cardamom and black pepper and maize and bay leaves and all those things and you know i have these dried mango powder so just a big pinch of it and then then taste it to see you know that it, the salt and the other spices they are good for you and it is ready to serve so you can just now take it out so our purple hyacinth bees which don't look that purple right now they are ready to be eaten so uh, you can serve it with dal and rice and uh, the vegetables so there you have it the full meal you know so dal rice and a fresh vegetable is a perfect uh, combination of food in one meal so i hope you learned how to uh, make uh, or cook purple hyacinth beans it's really easy you put some oil um, then the cumin seeds and then rest of the spices add um, you know purple hyacinth beans and uh, saute them a little bit and then just let them cook in their own steam on low heat and uh, in 10 15 minutes they are ready so i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new if you have any questions leave a comment and i try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye